Hi everyone, welcome to my new little vlog. Before us, we have a shirt I've made. I'm sure some of you are well aware I, I'm a shirt maker as well. So as I just want to talk about buttonholes for you. Now, I'm only into industrial machines, but on this one occasion, I bought this beautiful domestic machine solely for buttonholes. I'm going to show you it here. I'm sure some of you are well aware of this beautiful little beast. This is a Janome Professional. Memory Craft 6500. It's an old model, but the new models are about £2,000. But it does really beautiful buttonholes, and that's the only reason why I bought that machine. Because when I started to make shirts for my customers, some of them don't want hand stitched buttonholes, which is an extra £100. I charge an extra £100 for, to do hand stitched buttonholes because each one takes around 15 20 minutes, so it's very time consuming. But so I bought that. Now, the only problem with domestic all domestic machines is that it it won't cut it at the same time. So industrial machines, buttonhole machines, button holders, they'll cut it and stitch it round at the same time. Well, these domestic machines won't. So you have to cut into it afterwards. Now, of course, when you cut into it, a lot of you will use seam rip rippers. And please do not use those little gadgets. They're horrible. Always invest in these little buttonhole cutters. They're really lovely. Can you see these? And all you do is just get a wood block, whatever you got. I've got a wood, little wood block there. Just put it down, get your little hammer, go right in the middle, centre, and just bang it, and you've got it there straight away. So seam rippers are horrible. I don't use them for anything. Not. You just rip things really easily. It's terrible. But anyway, so invest in these little buttonhole cutters. Now, when the buttonhole has been cut, you're going to get all every buttonhole will fray. It doesn't matter if it's interfaced, it will still fray. And it depends on the fabric as well. The more work, tightly woven the fabric is, the less it will fray, but it will still fray. So if you've got loose weave, it will fray really badly, like linens, it will fray terrible. Sorry about that. Anyway, so what I suggest you all do, just trim off these and use. A blanket stitch, I do a buttonhole around it. You can see how beautiful that is. Didn't take me long, and I stitch it around. Now, you can use the same thread as that, or you can experiment. Next week, I'm going to experiment with embroidery thread because it'll be a bit thicker, so you probably get an even nicer clean edge there. So this is a blanket stitch or buttonhole stitch. It's the same thing. So do that, please. Now, a lot of people I've been seeing on these forums, they use like something called Freycheck. It's disgusting. It's some kind of glue chemical. Why do you want to put a chemical on your beautiful clothes you've you spent hours or days making? You know, it doesn't make sense. And the fray check will stain it as well. It hardens it. And also when you wash it again, it goes. So it's just a pointless exercise. So please don't use that fray check, what people are saying, to get rid of these. It's really bad. So I suggest that you try and get just hand stitch around it with a buttonhole stitch blanket stitch you'll get a beautiful finish there see it's a beautiful lovely finish instead of having the frayed edge like that now i'm just launched a few weeks ago my tutorial on buttonholes and it's over one hour long it's very in-depth and it's how us bespoke tailors we actually make our buttonholes so it's a professional buttonhole and it's i use traditional gimp i use buttonhole silk buttonhole twist so i show you in depth, in micro details about how to stitch a beautiful buttonhole. That is available to buy from my website now. So if you really want to know how to make buttonholes that all top bespoke tailors use on their 3,000, 10,000, 5,000 pound suit, then go to my website and buy that and that will give you some great information on how to make beautiful buttonholes. So hopefully this has helped you everyone. And so hopefully I will see you soon on my next vlog. So ciao for now.